Hey folks, uh, back again, wanted to demonstrate a few things about uh, images uh, on your WordPress website. And uh, the things I wanted to show are, uh, this is the current about page on the demo site. And you'll notice it's got a caption, it's floated to the left within the text, so the text uh, wraps around the outside of the image to the right. So this is floated to the left and it's got a little border on it. And when you click it, it opens up in with an effect called a light box. So the image title is up at the top, image caption is down here. Um, and it's got other features like view a larger copy of the image. So I wanted to show you how to control all of those things. So in this case, I have disabled all those in a different version of that page. Here you can see it's got no border. If you click on it, nothing happens. And uh, so there, that's there. So in order to control that, I am gonna go to pages in WordPress. And in this case, I'm gonna use Beaver Builder because I wanna demonstrate a little more about how to use Beaver Builder. So I'm gonna click on Beaver Builder and that's gonna come up. So I'm going to hover over the inner box here and I'm gonna click on the um, little wrench. And that gives you control over that section of the website, of the web page. So I'm gonna hover over that image, click it, and I'm gonna click the little pencil here, which allows you to make changes to it. And here is where you control those parts of the website, the web page, or the image in this case. Uh, if you want to center it, you would click that. If you want it to float right, you would click that. I'm gonna leave it floating left in this case. I'm gonna give it a caption of small barn, Caption. I'm going to give it alternative text, which is really good for SEO. Google really notices uh, alternative text on images. So that's good to have there. I'm going to leave the image size at medium in this case, but you can, you have these options that Google uh, saves different copies of each image at different sizes for you to use, but I'm going to save it, uh, keep it at medium in this case. And in order to do the light box effect, you're gonna to wanna to link it to the media file itself. Uh, the attachment page just is an extra page created by WordPress for that image in itself. And it's not the image itself. It's not the JPEG. It's an extra HTML page that displays the JPEG. So we're not gonna worry about that at this point. And it's not gonna to go to a custom URL. So if we wanted to go to a different page of the website or somebody else's website page, we could do that, do it that way and then specify the URL here. In this case, for the light box effect, I'm gonna leave this at media file. Um, we can also do an image title attribute. So I'm gonna uh, copy that small barn and copy that here, because that's also not bad for SEO. For the light box effect, well, for the border, first of all, the light box is uh, specified by the media, link to media file. The border, in this case, is gonna be something specific that I have created for the website. It's a custom class for an image, and it's gonna be, you're gonna specify that by typing out exactly a bill, capital I, image, capital B, border. So that's the class for that. Able, image, IMG, border, and it's case sensitive. So you're gonna wanna uh, use the upper and lower case exactly like that. And that's all you need to do for that. Um, I'm gonna click update. And in Beaver Builder, I'm gonna click save, done. Publish. So now you can see the image or the uh, the image functions exactly like it did on the original page. There, you get a caption, you get a border, 
you click it and it opens in a light box effect.